everyone, Miss Chandra here with another helpful health lesson. This time it's getting to know your brain, learning the three parts of your brain that can help you. This will be a first in the series of our Mind Up lessons. Mind Up is brain focused strategies for learning and living. When we understand how our brain works, thinks, and feels, we can give ourselves better solutions to the things that come at us. The brain is amazing. If you remember from our previous lesson, the brain is made up mostly of water, about 73% water. Information in your brain travels at a speed of about 268 miles per hour. The brain consists of about 100 billion neurons, and on average, you have 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts per day. Your brain generates about enough energy to power a light bulb, and your brain stops growing in size at about 13 years old, but you will never stop growing in what you learn. There are three parts of your brain that help you think and react to everything that happens around you. The prefrontal cortex, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. Amygdala. Can you practice saying it with me? Amygdala. The amygdala is on alert. It is the fight, flight, or freeze part of the brain. It regulates and blocks information from going to your prefrontal cortex, so you can react quickly. Feeling frightened or upset? That is your amygdala on alert, like a guard dog for your brain. Our amygdala's reactions help to warn us to react to danger, keep us safe from threatening things, and help us to survive. When our amygdala is on alert, we have a hard time focusing, remembering, and making good choices. When you feel safe and happy, our amygdala will pass information on to the prefrontal cortex so that we can think. Prefrontal cortex. Can you practice saying it with me? Prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex, or PFC for short, let's make this easy uses information to think, learn, decide, focus, and make good choices. The PFC acts as the wise leader and helps you make good decisions. The PFC is kind of like the wise owl of the brain. Here is the thing about the three parts of the brain we're learning today. The three parts of the brain work as partners. The prefrontal cortex otherwise known as the PFC, gets information only when the amygdala is calm. Then the PFC passes it on to the hippocampus to remember. Hippocampus, practice saying that with me. Hippocampus. Hippocampus creates memories, it stores important information, and remembers what we learn. The hippocampus stores all important facts and memories that the PFC passes on to it. This includes facts like remembering birthdays, friends email addresses, and the memories of the salty smell of the ocean or the smell of the pine trees on your camping trip. The hippocampus help you to remember things that are important to you. The hippocampus is like the elephant that never forgets in your brain. What are the things that are important for you to remember? Okay, that was a lot of prefrontal cortex wise owl information for our never forget elephant to remember. To help us remember, think of your brain working like an orchestra. The prefrontal cortex is your orchestra conductor who directs different instruments to play together in harmony. The amygdala is the musicians who each play a different instrument with different parts. And the hippocampus is the sheet music, which you can refer to to remember what to play. Okay, so why is knowing the jobs of the amygdala, the PFC, and the hippocampus important? Well, if we know how our brains respond, we can help ourselves to have a more calm mindset and make better decisions. Knowing how our brains work help us to know ourselves better and how to take care of ourselves better. In future Mind Up lessons, we will learn tools for how to help calm the amygdala when there is stress, 
strength and focus to get information to the PFC so we can think better and better store information in our hippocampus so we can remember better. Our brains just learned quite a bit about our brains. So when we learn more, we have more tools to work with. That's what MindUp's going to give us, more tools to work with and to help our brains. The first tool we're gonna to end with today is breathing. Anytime you are stressed out, your amygdala is going crazy, breathing can come to the rescue. Taking deep, full breaths calms your amygdala and it helps you think and remember clearly. Remember, our amygdala is our fight, flight, or freeze reaction when we are stressed out. So if we can calm that, it will allow our prefrontal cortex, that wise owl, to be able to think and remember clearly for our hippocampus, that elephant that never forgets.